Hello Internet, Hewlett here with a strange burn alert today. I am neither at the bottom of the stairs nor at the top of the stairs. I am halfway up, like like Christopher Robin. Um, and, and wow, look at that light. So I've got these skylights up here on our top floor. I should spend more time on the top floor. It's absolutely gorgeous, but um, couldn't make it up that far. I've done my exercise and I'm on my way to the shower because i got to go meet my friend Jimmy Key. Jimmy Key is this brilliant actor, writer, um, and uh, artist. Uh, he's the guy who did that gorgeous painting of, of Mars when, 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 we, uh, when we had to put him down and um and he's written a series of <laughs> amazing short stories um which are available on amazon you should check them out they're um the tales in the haunted library he writes under the name crow scratch which is very appropriate if you actually met uh, jimmy and hopefully you will because i'm hoping he's going to go out and do some stuff um he wants to do some sort of live events and stuff so and some videos and things so uh amazing guy extraordinarily funny and intelligent and and just i love him the bits and um uh, and, his, and his short stories there's one actually check out uh, Tad the Monster. I think I may have spoken about this before, but Tad the Monster is one of the short stories he wrote, which is uh, is this extraordinary um, story about a kid who, born looking like a monster, learns to become one. And it's just heart-wrenching and brilliant and gruesome and, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous story. Anyways, if you read one of his stories, that would be the one I would suggest. I think that's in the first book. But get them all, because they're just... God, they're extraordinary. Anyways, so I'm going to go and have breakfast with him, as we tend to do. Uh, and then I've got uh, Jake, Jake from Who You Know, director and writer of Who You Know, coming by, and we're going to talk VFX for, um, for this film. Very minor ones. We were originally going to do this cool thing where there was like this, like a diamond on, on uh, or diamond, it was like a, a little, a little uh, necklace on one of the actresses, and uh, it, would, it would sort of transform into light and start showing as if she didn't have... As if there was nothing there, so sort of dissolve her almost. Um, but they cut that scene. So now I'm doing weather. Now I'm a weatherman. <laughs> I'm doing some snow. I'm doing some rain, um, and I'm hoping we could pull it off. Um, maybe some text effects, uh, um, just to sort of help out and also just have some fun with this stuff. Because I've been playing with the Red Giant and um, After Effects. And Red Giant's perfect for this because they've got this um, this uh, uh, particle system, this um, a trap code particular, um, which is just. Like, it's just the, the industry standard for this stuff. And I've already created some 4K snow, um, 4K being just the size of the, of the image. They recorded, they, you know, they filmed this whole thing in 4K. And um, it's just, uh, it's really fun. So uh, we're going to play with that today as well. Um, in fact, I better get running because that is, um, uh, yeah, because that's, uh, that's why I'm halfway up the stairs. Is because I got halfway up here and then I went, oh my gosh, I didn't do my burn before I hopped in the shower and ran off to meet my friend. So I'm going to do that. But the learn part of today, which I think... Um, Again, it's becoming a little rep rep repetitious because I, it's the same book. <laughs> it's a big book. Um, is the surveillance capitalism? But I, uh, again, I'm really grading on some of this stuff. I find it incredibly. It is so negative towards Google that I'm, it's beginning to feel a bit like one of those guys at a party where you're like, yeah, 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 all right, already. Um, I, she's got these amazing points, but she does things like there's a diagram of a of a boulder rolling down and gaining size as it as it heads towards this tiny little innocent village, and that's the data that they're collecting. And I just I feel I feel, I feel like I'm trying to be manipulated here, and I I feel like that is um, uh, you know I think maybe there's a little bit of condescension there that I that I don't like, but I love her research. Her writing is extraordinary. Um, I think we just have maybe a difference of opinion on, on some of this stuff. Um, you know, I am absolutely torn on the surveillance stuff the way everyone is. Um, you know, there is something about this ubiquity of cell phones and cameras and, and sensors and data collection, which is, it can't help but make you feel somewhat, um, um, you know, controlled by what's going on. That if you are aware that you are always under surveillance, there is going to be even the, possibly just a, a subtle to extreme levels of self, um, um, I mean, self-control in some ways, which I think would be good, but also, um, you know, self-censorship. And, and I, 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 so they're, they're definitely, I, I do worry about that kind of stuff, but I also feel like we need to, you know, the more we can understand who we are and how we act, the, the better we will um, I think be able to plan and, and we're going to need to, we all, I feel like we need to know as much as we can about ourselves because there's so many of us and there's too many of us and we got to figure out how to feed us and keep us happy and keep each other from, um, uh, you know, um, off each other's throats, <laughs> attacking each other. I don't know. I mean, it's, I'm really torn on it. Um, I, I do, uh, I do worry that, you know, my son is growing up in a, in a, in a world where he will always be, you know, he will always be observed. Um, and uh, that you can't necessarily choose when and where that happens. Uh, there was one incident that she talks about as a, as a positive, which I don't see as a positive, where they talk about how the, um, 
um, uh, the uh, I guess it was the EU or the European um, uh, Communications uh, uh, Group um, had had regulated that they had to remove this negative information about a doctor. Uh, who had been sort of wrongly accused or partially accused of something. Anyway, she had this, she had their information removed from, from Google because they said Google shouldn't be having that in their algorithm. And I thought, well, wait a second. And this is something that came up on Twitter the other day. I mean, how can you, you know, a, a newspaper used to have to offer a retraction. This is what they were saying on Twit um, this week, um, Leo Laporte show. And, um, you know, they have to offer a retraction, but they don't have to go back and rip up all of the, all of the newspapers in every library and, and, and archive in the world. And if Google starts doing that, then they become a publisher. Then if they are having to choose what's out there and not just reflecting society, I, it's such a double-edged sword because the stuff I don't want my son seeing for sure, and I'd rather not have, you know, you know racist or sexist or, or, or just, you know, insane stuff popping up in my, in my search queries because that's what a bunch of other people are doing around me. But at the same time, I feel like you know, if that's who we are, I'm, I'm worried. I, I think I almost want to know that so that we can, we can sort of work against that uh, or work to change that. Anyways, I'm obviously all over the place on this and I got to run, but, um, but just amazing stuff. And also I've got to throw in, I had a meeting with Shaftesbury yesterday, um, who are, Christina Jennings, who runs Shaftesbury is, she's, I, you know, I flatter myself to say, I feel like she's almost like a, a, a female version of me and that she gets so excited about stuff. And, and she's, but the, the, the massive, um, uh, uh, you know, um, improvement that she has over me is that she's amazing at getting stuff done. And she just is so excited about this educational realm. And, um, and um, so I'm really hoping that we can, um, we can work something out with that because uh, she's just, uh, she's a wonderful woman. Uh, not a wonderful woman, she's a wonderful person. Um, and, uh, and just, uh, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of the company as well. So it's just a great, it's a great place to be. So, um, anyways, uh, hoping to do some more stuff with that. Um, just anything to try to keep this stuff going, try to figure out how to, how to, how to pay for it and, and, and be able to sustain this, this amazing sort of like educational adventure I'm on. So there you have it. There you be, sweaty or not, until we geek again, cheerio!